Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mo and she's back with another video for you guys. In my last video, I showed you guys how to take photos only using a tripod by yourself in the public. So if you haven't seen that video, just click over here and watch it. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I actually edit my photos only using a couple apps. I'm going to show you all my tricks that I use, all my apps that I use, and all my secrets to getting the best photo. So make sure you stay tuned. This video is also in partner with Ana Luisa. They sent me these beautiful gold necklace pieces. They're doing a huge holiday sale right now. It's actually buy one, get the second one. 40% off so if you have any gifts that you need to buy it's the perfect addition so you can actually buy one and get a second one just to layer like I did here they're an amazing brand sustainable and they're super environmental friendly and their prices go as low as $39 and the quality is so long-lasting they don't tarnish at all so honestly definitely go check them out for some last-minute gift ideas Here's a close-up of the necklaces I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Ivy set with the Margot necklace in the center. They're all 14 karat plated. Here's a look at their website. They have a bunch of nice necklaces, especially for gift ideas for the holidays. And everything is buy one, get one, 40% off the entire site. They're also offering ready-to-go gift boxes, personal notes, and fast shipping worldwide. If you're not too sure what to get since there's so many options, you can also go to the trending page and look to see what's trending. So this is the top sellers, all their earrings, necklaces, rings, and bracelets. So take a look. If you do want to check them out, you can click the link down below and let's get started. So I'm gonna do split screen so you guys can see what I'm doing and then also you can watch my hands as I edit. And I'm gonna show you all the apps that I use in this so you can stop this video and download them if you want to or just follow along as you please. So the first thing I'm going to do is open my first photo. So I'm going to go to the ones that I like. So these are all the pictures that I do like from that day that I took my photos. And also, um, I took these all with a tripod. So if you guys want to know how to take photos, just watch my last video too. Um, so I'm going to scroll down. There's one that I really liked earlier. It's this one here. Um, so you can see that this one is unedited. Um, and this is just, the quality is really nice though. The sun's hitting me really well. So these photos, you don't have to do too much editing because everything is pretty good um, in terms of lighting background and stuff um, but for this one I'll show you guys what I do to edit first thing I'm gonna do is I just kind of look at the picture see what I want to change and then I just jump into it so I'm gonna just start off by removing um, any blemishes on my face body or around the photo so I'm gonna zoom in I automatically see one a little Z on my face so we're gonna remove that and zoom in again and also obviously you don't have to do this but i just like a clean you know finish to my photos so i like kind of everything being nice and smooth anyway so yeah i'm just gonna go in and smooth that out and then i also look if there's any like on my body i just get rid of those ones um just what i do nothing too you know personal i just like a clean look you know um, and then I also, oh, sorry, I was using the patch feature. So now I'm just, oops, what I'm doing there. Now I'm just gonna go into patch and any like blemishes or like things in your photo, I use the patch to get rid of. Um, there is another app that you can use that's a little bit easier, but since I'm already on Facebook, I'll just show you what I do. So um, once I find the name of the app, I'll put it somewhere on the screen. And yeah, we're just gonna get rid of any little tiny things. Again, this is super dramatic. You don't have to do this, but I'm extra, so. I'm gonna show you what I do, so. Yeah, I'm literally just patching up little holes because I just like a clean finish to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this stuff. And then, yeah, and then there's one by my leg that I'm gonna get rid of. I'm so dramatic, but I'm gonna go in use the patch feature and clean that up but again this is another editing tip for you guys um instead of doing this for um just editing like little blemishes um what you can use is the tone feature and this basically paints over anything um that you want to be the same color 
So I'm using the tones and I'm just gonna go in and cover up what I just did there so it doesn't look like anything. So if you zoom out, that is what the photo looks like so far. Then I'm gonna go into details and this is where I, I like to detail little things on um, like my accessories and like little things I wanna stand out. So I normally go for my makeup. So right now I'm going over like the highlight on my nose, my eyeshadow. I even go over my brows just to make them a little bit darker. And this is the details button, by the way. Um, lip gloss to make it pop out. Sometimes I go over like my hair if I want it to like stand out a little bit. And the accessories that I'm wearing in the photo. I'm just gonna get all of that. All right, Ooh, and forgot the ring, okay. Perfect, and then the last thing that we're gonna do, actually two things, we're gonna do some smoothing. So I like to go into my photo and do some smoothing just around my body area. Um, so there's a couple marks there, I'm just gonna smooth that out. On the face, I just do a light, very light touch on everything, because you don't want it to look super smooth. So literally I'm just going like that, like little tabs, just to make everything a little bit more clean. A nice finish to it and then the last thing we're gonna do is do a little curve action so I'm gonna go into my reshape feature and you really want to be careful with this because um, it's very easy to tell if you do too much so I like to do like a subtle edit so right now I'm gonna zoom in to I guess my body <laughs> and then just go in a little bit with the reshape just kind of make myself pop a little bit more you know give some curve action there's also like a lot of poses you can do to get that action going, but I just wasn't doing it in the photo. So yeah, I'm gonna do some curves and just pop up my hips a little bit, but you really wanna be super subtle or you might mess up some lines and people can tell. So be very careful when you're doing this so that way it's not super shown. Um, and then just, you know, bring these babies a little bit up. See, you know, no worries. Just a little thing that I do. Bye. And then I think she's good. So this is the before and after you can see. Oops. So pretty subtle, but obviously there is some changes there, but it just cleaned it right up. I got rid of the blemishes on the face. And if you need to redo things, I think on Facetune 1, you can only do like three redos. So... If you're gonna get Facetune, do Facetune number two because it has way more features and it's better. I just haven't bought it yet. So yeah, we're gonna use Facetune one. So now we're just gonna save everything and then move on to the next step. So now we're gonna open Lightroom again and then go into the photo and do some editing. So Lightroom is the best app for lighting. Honestly, it can change your photo completely. So right now, my photo has pretty good lighting. Um, normally, if you press the auto feature, um, it does either give you a glow or it just kind of brightens up your photo. For this photo, I think it kind of gave me too much of a glow, so I'm not gonna do that. And plus, I'm gonna show you guys how I actually go about um, editing it, just like a raw image. So um, the first thing I do is normally go to light um, and I kind of just look at the photo and see what it's missing. So right now, I feel like it needs more color um, and I could also darken it a bit. Um, so I'm going to go into blacks and I'm just going to go to the decreasing size. Is it increase or decrease? Decreasing. So you're basically darkening the blacks. And then with Lightroom, I know it looks like a bunch of stuff going on, but it's super easy to use. Um, you just have to get the hang of what you're doing. So the more practice you do, the easier it becomes. So right now, I just want to kind of darken the photo a bit. So right now I'm going to black and just adjusting it to be a little bit darker. I'm going to show you guys how it looks super dark or you make the blacks look white or lighter. <laughs> but I do like it a little bit more subtle. What I mostly do actually is go to saturation and color because I like all my photos colorful. That's what my feed looks like. That's what I like. So I go to saturation and I actually add um, more. And this will honestly give more color to your skin, your body, the background, and just whatever's in the shot. So you can play around with that. Um, another thing you can do is actually go into 
the color mix and this actually changes each individual color so for example if you have a lot of green and you say if you don't want to get a green color say if you want to change it you can use this button and actually just go like all the way to one side so it looks a little bit more like brown go to this side it looks more like greenish blue so that looks pretty cool um, I think I kind of like the greenish blue but not too much so I might just do even like a couple like maybe like like that and then if you want to see like your before to after you can just um, click on the photo and it goes before and then you see after so I feel like I did a little bit too much color so I'm gonna go back down again and then you can kind of zoom in to see like what you like about it what you don't like I feel like I want to turn down the color again so another feature you can do is um, right now my skin tone is like a orangey brown so you can use this feature and change not that you want to change your skin tone but you can change if uh, there's a color in there you want to change it to um, you just play around with that feature and do that um, you can play around the saturation for each one it's just really fun to just like put a photo in and just see what you can do to your photo because sometimes you can make them look really good so i think i'm gonna go back to that one and then if i had any i do have like red pink lips so i can even increase the color in that um so you can kind of see before and after there's more color in my lips but i'll probably go a little bit lower than that um is there any blue in the picture then I know there's a way to like figure out what color is what, but I haven't really played around with this app too much. So, I mean, you just have to get the hang of it, whatever you like, whatever you don't like. My shirt is like yellow, so I can even change the color of that too. Um, but I think I'll keep it the same. Um, and then I think I'm going to just darken it a tiny bit because I feel like my leather pants are like looking a little grayish so I'm gonna go back and like decrease that so yeah you can kind of look at your photo see the differences um, I feel like I added more color to my skin looks more golden and the trees look more green too so you can also just add some saturation there again you don't want to do too much but it also depends on the photo so I think I'm gonna do a part two of another photo that's not as like glowy. That way you can see what um, the difference looks like with using Lightroom too. So I'm gonna save that. And then I'm gonna go into my other two apps and show you guys what else I do. I'm gonna go into this app called Makeup Plus. This is another feature that you can do if you want to. Um, this one actually adds like different colors. Um, for example, if you wanna get like a different color lip, if you wanna do a dark lip, um you can kind of experiment with this one too um you don't again you don't want to do too much because then it looks edited but sometimes um in the past i've definitely used this if i want to change my lip color you can also go to beautify which basically means if you want to make your eyes bigger your lips bigger or whatever feature you want um you can zoom in sometimes it automatically does it for you but i don't like it too much so i if i want to make my eyes look bigger i would just like turn it down a little bit so it's not like two in your face but yeah you can use this if you want to like shape up different things on your face i'm gonna move on to my next app um actually for now i would be done this photo but um, i'm gonna show you guys one more app that you can use for filters for this app i used to pay for all the filters um i still have some that i paid for but i don't use it as much normally i use filters if i'm doing like a food picture or um just like random landscape or pictures around i just add like a quick filter on it for this um because i really like the finish of the photo i'll just show you some that some filters that i would use so for example let's see i used to use three um what is it c3 a lot but i used to turn it down like all the way but now i find that lightroom gives me the finish that i like so i don't use this as much but again it just kind of makes you more like golden if you want that um another one that's pretty cool a lot of the filters make sure you use about like one or less because then it just looks like too much so if you do use a filter i would use maybe like 1.8 so it's not too much but still nice and then i have a couple other ones like you can play around with these depending on the photo and if it's not enough color light like you can use these so what you can do is you can add your photo to the preview app and this actually shows you 
um, what your photo will look like in your feed and you can play around with it and see if you like the photo on your feed. This is exactly how I plan out all my feed photos and just to make sure that they're all kind of in line or just like color cohesive. So yeah, you can use the preview feature and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, let me know what you guys think or if there's any other apps that um, I can try for myself. Um, I know there's a couple that a lot of people use, so I'll list those down below and all the other apps as well. But that's kind of like briefly how I do most of my photos, just a little bit of Facetune, um, Lightroom, and then if I want to add some makeup, I'll add some makeup. Like, why not? Don't forget to check out all my links below, and especially when you're buying these necklaces as well. I'll leave all the codes and everything that I have listed below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I think I want to do a video on posing, and I do have a part two of how you take your own photos again. So, yeah, let me know what you guys are think, and if you like this consistency, keep it, you know, thumbs up for me because I'm trying to grow and I want to do more videos. So, the more content I can push out to you guys, the better. So, please let me know what else I can do or what advice or Instagram tips um, but feel free to follow me on Instagram over here and also my TikTok you can follow me as well um, please feel free to DM me if you need any tips with Instagram and stuff I'm slowly getting through all my DMs so just send me one and I will get to you soon so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoy the rest of your week